guys and welcome back to another Tech Guru video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to use Adobe Audition to insert a background music bed to your voiceovers or whatever you may be doing in Adobe Audition. So a lot of times you may have a voice and then you want to put some background music behind it to make it sound better or cleaner or whatever the case may be. So at the end of the day, you want something that sounds a little bit like this. This is the audio that we're going to be putting music behind. So you will be hearing this voiceover and then some music will be behind this audio. So as you see there, we have a VO or voiceover and then we have the music background bed that we've inserted as well. So I'm going to show you how to go about doing that. So the first things first, you need to go ahead and record your voiceover. So this is the voiceover that you heard in that little clip there. Uh, obviously it wasn't anything too you know, fancy, but that is the voiceover. So go ahead and record that. And then once you record the voiceover, save it as a wave file or MP3. It doesn't matter. Wave is just a little better quality. Uh, and then you just go up to file, save as, and save it as a wave file somewhere on your computer. And then what we're going to want to do is create a new multi-track session. So go to file, new multi-track session. Now, once we've done that, we're going to name our multi-track session. So we'll go ahead and say um, BG Music, just for the purposes of this video. And then once we've titled it, go ahead and change it to whether you want it to be uh, whatever the, the sample rate you want it to be, whatever if you want it to be mono or stereo, and then just go ahead and click OK. Once we do that, you're going to be presented with the multi-track interface here in Adobe Audition. It looks a little intimidating, but I promise it really is not. So the first thing we want to do is drag our uh, vocals into the multi-track session and that's as easy as going up here to our file bin here and then clicking and holding wherever that audio file is and then dragging it over into one of these timelines over here now one thing that I do like to do uh, is I like to change the color of my different audio tracks so I can differentiate them and I'm able to see which one I am working on and in order to do that just click the little square there uh, below and then you'll see the track color come available and then you can get funky with it you can make it pink and purple or whatever you want it and then just hit OK. Uh, so now we want to drag our music, our background music uh, behind our vocals. Now I'm going to give you a little tip or a little pointer. A great place to get background music for your um, projects is going to be the YouTube dot com audio library so this is uh, you know don't have to worry about copyright or any of that you can use this freely and all of these uh, tracks here you can use in any of your projects and not worry about copyright because you know YouTube's providing these to you so the one that I chose for this specific one is the vacation uke here uh, it is a pop happy genre, whatever you want to call it there. And then you can even sort these by genre, mood, instrument, whatever you want to do. So go ahead and download one of those by clicking this little download arrow here. And then once we've done that, we're going to minimize that. Now you're going to find that track on your computer and then import it into Audition. So what you're going to do is go to file and then go to import and then go to file and then find that file wherever it may be. So here it is here and then it'll be inserted into your file bin. And now we're going to do the same thing and drag that audio file over to our timeline. And now we have a nice green one here and a purple one here. And then what we're going to want to do is decrease the volume of the background music. Obviously, if it's the same volume as the voiceover, you're not going to be able to hear the voice and that defeats the purpose. So what we're going to do now is right here where you see this here, this little slider is going to be you increasing or decreasing the volume. Now, the sweet spot that I found is somewhere between 17 and 19. So I'm going to leave it right around 19. And then what we're going to need to do is cut the clip. So in order to decrease the length of this clip, we're just going all the way to the end of it. And then you should see a little red thing come available on the end of the clip or track and then drag it all the way to the left and then go ahead and make it a little longer than your VO. So that way you can fade it out and it sounds a little cleaner than it would if you just cut it immediately at the end of the track. So then in order to fade out, you'll just click this little, I guess, fade out square or whatever you want to call it, click and hold. And then you can, you know, decide if you want to fade it out really quickly or if you want to take a while to fade it out. The one that I like to use here is, you know, right about there, you know, right about that curve angle there. And then what we're going to do is once we play this back from the beginning, this is the audio that we're going to be putting music behind. So you will be hearing this voiceover and then some music will be behind this audio. 
So as you see there, we had the nice VO, which is clear, and it's not overrun by the background music bed. And then we also had the nice fade out at the end. So this is just a very brief tutorial on how to add background music beds within Adobe Audition. Uh, obviously, Adobe Audition is such a great piece of software. It's how I record all of my audio for all of my videos. Uh, I also have other Adobe Audition software showing you how to get good uh, vocal sounds and things like that. And I'll put those links down below. Uh, don't forget to slap that like button if it helped you out. Don't forget to share this video with your your friends and family. Don't forget to go support us over on Patreon. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos, and I will see you guys in the next one.